Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another autumnal haul video. I am just loving doing these autumnal hauls and I feel like you guys are really enjoying them as well. There are so many gorgeous new pieces out on the high street at the moment. I just cannot get enough. So today we're going to be doing an ASOS haul. I have been a little bit spendy, picked up a few pieces. I don't think I'm going to be keeping all of this just because obviously like it's a lot of items but there are some really really gorgeous newer pieces so I definitely like you guys help with what to keep and what to send back. I will be doing this as a try on haul as I always do with all my hauls. For reference, because I know I always get asked if I don't leave it in the video, I'm five foot in height, I'm a size 10 on top and a size 12 on bottom, and I'll try and go through which sizes I picked up. If I forget any, feel free to leave me a comment and I will let you know exactly what size I picked up the item. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing I picked up is an absolute classic. It is a gorgeous trench coat, and I'm really, really loving chocolate brown colours at the moment. I think I mentioned it in a recent haul. I'm just loving like darker shades of brown for autumn and this I saw this online and I was like that floats my boat but it's coming up very like it's really difficult with the light it's coming up quite rusty on camera but it's definitely more of like a chocolate brown color and um, you probably would have seen on my Instagram already I'll leave a little photo there if I can of what the coat actually looks like on because it is so so gorgeous and it's always really annoying when the camera doesn't like pick up the exact color because I always know it's so annoying when you see something online and it arrives and it's not the same color so I want you guys to be able to see exactly what color it actually is but I'm so in love with this it is so so gorgeous you guys know i absolutely love a trench coat it's such a classic item in autumn and it's such a great piece to layer up and this is just absolutely stunning now this isn't actually in petite i was tempted to wait to see if it came out in petite but i'm not gonna lie they don't seem to be doing a lot of petite coats at the moment i know my other sage green trench coat that i picked up from asos it's still not come out in a petite which i was really really surprised at so i would say this one is okay like I'd say my Burberry trench coat comes down the perfect trench length that I would want and I would probably want it to come up a bit higher but I don't worry too much about it like it actually just makes it really nice and snugly warm I'd say it comes up like well you see it in the cutaway but I would say it comes up just above my ankle kind of like mid shin area um but it's really really lovely I love the tortoise shell buttons um it's got like the double breasted buttons and it's got a lot more details so it's actually like a lot more flaps which I really like it's very like Sherlock Holmes style which never thought I would say this in a video but I'm here for that so I really really like this I'll leave it in the description box below so you can shop the exact one but I really really love it I think it's just so so gorgeous and I'll show you what it looks like on so we've got a little bit of a different try on setup let me know if you can see the outfits any clearer here I've got the windows there so I'm hoping especially like color wise it will be better for you guys to see but this is what the trench coat looks like. I'm so, so obsessed with this. It's coming up a little bit more true to colour on camera now, now that we've got the window like right there. Um, but I still, I uh, hopefully you would have seen from the photo exactly what the colour looks like on. But I'm just so, so obsessed with this. As I said, it's a little bit longer how I would normally like my trench coats, but I don't think it's too long at all. If you are a petite girl, you could definitely get away with this. I always get questions from you guys whenever I pick up new trench coats about the length and everything. I would definitely say that sage one that I had for my last ASOS haul was a little bit longer than this one. Um, but this one I do absolutely love. And this is just in a regular, but I think it just looks really, really cool. As I said, it comes up kind of like mid shin so yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with this. i have had to roll the sleeves up because the sleeves are a little bit long on me and if i roll them down and then put my hands down my fingers literally disappear so i have rolled the sleeves up just to make it a little bit better fitted but i really like this just cinch it in at the waist and it's just so so flattering and this is also quite a bit more open than at some of my other trench coats so it means that you can really see what you're wearing underneath which i absolutely love i'd 100 percent recommend picking this up this is such a perfect autumnal trench now the next item is a bit more of a trend piece and I've seen quite a few of these kind of style jumpers quite a lot at the moment. I think it was Isabel Moran that kind of did the first one and a lot of high street stores have been taking inspiration. I've seen a H&M one which I really really loved and then I saw this one on ASOS and it's from a brand called Only and I've actually got quite a few pieces from Only in this haul. I sometimes feel like when brands drop on ASOS they all drop at once and so when you pick one thing up you actually see like loads of other things that you like. Um, so yeah it's from a brand called Only. I've shopped there a couple of times and I do really really like their pieces. I think they are really really cute and like really classic and like really stylish like trend driven pieces. So I saw this and I was like I need that in my life. What size did I pick this up in? I got it in a small. 
I have no reason for why I got it in a small. I would have thought I would have got it in, in a medium. Maybe it's because I didn't want it to be too oversized. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I'm so, so obsessed with this. It's got the cutest little frill details, which I absolutely love. And it's just like really, really detailed. Um, it's not too thick either, actually. Like I would say it's a nice kind of cable knit. I could easily just put a little tank top underneath just to keep me a little bit snugly warm. And I wouldn't be like too hot. But then you could easily layer it up with a thermal under for winter time. Now, it's not itchy at all, actually. Um, I am really, really bad with regards to like itchy fabrics. I absolutely hate itchy fabrics. Um, and this I can easily wear even without anything on underneath, which to me is always a testament of how good the fabric is. So yeah, really, really like this. It's got a really big roll neck, which sometimes I do find roll necks can be a little bit like restrictive on me, but I don't think this one is too high up. Like I think this is quite a nice one. It's fairly loose. It doesn't come too high up my neck. So obviously as short girls, we have like shorter necks then I would say like a taller person. So sometimes roll necks can literally come up to like here on me and I'm like, that is not cute. But I really like this. It's such a gorgeous color, such a gorgeous fit, such a gorgeous little details. I'm just obsessed. So here we have the only frilly jumper and I do absolutely love this. I would definitely say that like the roll neck doesn't feel too intrusive on me, but I will tell you now, it's a little bit itchy, like the tiniest bit. I'd probably just feel a bit more comfortable if I put a t-shirt underneath this, just so that I don't get too like itchy from it. But I really, really like this. I really love the cable knit detail on the arms. I think it's so, so cute. And I really like the fit, like lengthwise it comes kind of like just like on the mids of my bottom, which is quite nice. The only thing I will say is that because of the frills, I don't know how easy this is going to be to tuck in because you will obviously get this massive bulge here. I don't know if it'll be easier to do the bra trick, but I doubt it because of the frills. Um, so yeah, it's the kind of thing, maybe start up with leggings would look nicer or just a pair of like baggier trousers and kind of like cinch it in at the waist. But I do really, really like this. I think this is such a cute little jumper. Definitely more of a trend piece, but a trend piece I'm very much on board with. Next up is a much more classic item and I picked up this really, really gorgeous black I don't know if I would call this a roll neck, but it's like a high neck jumper. And I actually realized I was missing one of these in my wardrobe um, at the weekend. And I was like, how do I not own a black roll neck jumper? Like that is such a classic item. So I immediately went on to ASOS. This is from a brand called Vila, Villa? I think it's Vila, because it's V-I-L-A, um, which I've never shopped at before, but I'm really, really impressed. It's a really, really soft fabric, really, really gorgeous. The only thing, the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is that it's not overly baggy, and I really like my jumpers to be quite oversized, exhibit A, got this in a large, I really like oversized jumpers, and the fact that this is like, I think I picked it up in a medium, kind of wish I'd gone for a large, so we'll try it on and we'll see what it looks like, but I might end up returning this and getting a bigger size up. And here we have the really classic black roll neck collar. I I think I'm gonna send it back and size up to a large. Because as much as I do like this, like it is really, really nice. I just like it to be a little bit baggier and a little bit more kind of like loose fitted. Um, but I definitely say if you like it just like a normal fit, then go true to size. It is really, really soft though. This is not an itchy fabric in the slightest. This is not going to bug you at all. So I've just put it on with my black slinky trousers. It looks very like a very dark outfit, but I really, really do like how this looks. And another jumper that I picked up is this really, really gorgeous, really interesting coloured roll neck. Again, roll, high neck, never know what to call these, jumper. And this is from, I think this is only, yeah, it's only, again. Um, and this looks like the kind of thing that, like, walkers would wear, if you know what I mean. Like, those kind of brown with, like, lots of different coloured speckles in. Like, it's very almost like retro I don't know I quite like it though and this one does come a little bit more oversized again I picked this up in a medium yep in a medium um and it definitely comes a little bit more oversized than that black one um so this fit is a lot nicer but the only thing I will say I am feeling the fabric and I don't know I it feels a little bit itchy it might be okay like if you put a top underneath it doesn't feel too bad but I might end up getting annoyed at the collar like you know when you've got a high collar and it's just that tiny bit itchy and it just ends up bugging you all day so I'll try it on show you guys what it looks like and I'll give you a bit more of a verdict on the fabric once it is on but I really like the color I really like the shape of it and stuff like it's very nice and oversized and baggy which is exactly what I like from a nice loose jumper but we'll just have to try it on and see I'm not going to lie to you guys, I think this jumper is just slightly too itchy for me to keep. I do quite like the colour of it and I do quite like the fit, but I just think this, especially because the neck is obviously a bit tighter, like the other only jumper that I had, because the neck was a bit looser, I felt like I could 
kind of stand it but because this is like much tighter on my neck i think this is just going to itch me a bit too much but i do think it is quite a cute jumper if you're someone that doesn't get bothered too easily by itchiness then i would recommend picking this up because it's really really cute it's just such a classic little brown jumper tuck it into a pair of jeans or a skirt and it would look absolutely adorable now the next thing that I picked up, I'm so, so excited by these and I was really sad actually that I didn't see them before. I only spotted them when 90% of the sizes had sold out but I wanted to show you them anyway because I just think they are absolutely gorgeous and it's this pair of, I wouldn't call these flare, like I'd say straight leg faux leather trousers. They're from a brand called Fourth, Fourth the Reckless or Fourth Reckless? It's just both reckless and they come in petite and these are the first straight leg leather trousers that I have found that come in petite which excited me so so much but the only size they actually had left in stock was a 14 so I was like I'm just gonna try it and see and actually I mean we'll wait for the try on till I show you but spoiler alert they fit so I will leave them in the description box below hoping maybe some more sizes would have come back in stock but if not if you're a 14 or I'm a 12 and these I'm spoiling, or I'm already spoiling the cutaway, but I'm a 12 and these fit. So if you're a 12 to 14, I would say these would look really, really nice on you. But I will show you what these look like on. They feel like such good quality, like really, really lovely quality. They've got a little bit of a stretch to them, which will make them a little bit more comfortable, but also they won't get too loose as you wear them throughout the day. And I think these are the kind of thing you can style up so many different ways in autumn, and you can easily take them into winter because you can easily throw some thermals underneath, add some boots, and you're really, really nice and snug warm so I'm obsessed with these they are so so gorgeous and here we have the faux leather trousers now I've deliberately taken off my shoes so that you can see exactly what they look like lengthwise and how they fit on me I'm so obsessed with these so as I said I've got these in a 14 and I do have a little bit of a gape at the back but it's nothing like literally nothing and they feel really nice yeah I think that would be kind of perfect because with these obviously they're not going to stretch all too much so if I eat and bloat then I do still have a little bit of room to kind of like bloat into um but yeah I absolutely love them lengthwise they literally hit hit the ground so if I was to wear some boots some chunky boots they would be perfect don't know if I'd wear heels with these because then they would be a little bit too short but that's perfect for me because these are, I'd say, probably more casual faux leather trousers. Now, they don't have pockets, but I think that's deliberate because I think that would start looking a little bit unflattering around your tummy. Um, I probably could tuck these in, but obviously, you guys know, I never really like showing off this section too much. Um, I just don't find it so flattering, but I definitely would say if you want to, you could easily tuck these in. I'm so, so obsessed. Just make sure if you are looking to get these and if they have come back in more sizes, size up when you get them because I don't think your normal size would fit. My thighs are literally sitting perfectly in these. I think in a 12 they would have been way too tight. But I love how they look. They are so, so cute. Now I'm going to move on to shoes because I've got quite a few pairs of shoes to show you in this haul. And the first pair are a pair of riding boots that you already would have seen if you saw my building an autumn capsule wardrobe video. But I wanted to show you them because obviously they are new into my wardrobe and I did pick them up in this ASOS so these are a pair of riding boots and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I will tell you now guys, I've been looking for a pair of riding boots for so, so long now. Like when I say so long, I mean years. And I've never found a pair that are equally as affordable, but also fit to my calves. So if there's something you want to know about me, I have huge calves, like really, really big. I often really struggle to find riding boots or high knee boots that don't like pinch around my calves some of them i found i can't even do up which is always so embarrassing when you've got to send them back so you can't even do the zip up and often i get like bulges around my calves if they're too tight guys these not only fit but they have a gap between my thigh and the boot and i genuinely don't think i've ever owned boots that do that so that excites me so so much now I did pick these up in a wide fit but they do also come in like a normal one and I would say the normal one is still actually quite wide. I would have been really interested to try what they're like on my calves. I know Holly from the Kitty Lux, a good friend of mine, she got the normal size of them and she has quite a gap at the back and she has like, she always says she has big calves. Compared to me they are not big calves but like she says they're big calves and she can fit the normal ones. So I'd say if you have like much bigger calves like me, go for the wide fit. You could maybe, if you have smaller ones, try the regular. But one thing they do have as well is a little buckle, which means that you can actually loosen them even more if you need to, which excites me greatly. So I would definitely recommend picking these up. I'll link them in the description. I'll link the wide fit and the regular ones, depending on which ones you want to shop. But I have never been so excited for a pair of boots in my entire life. 
and then here we have the riding boots i absolutely love them they're just so so cute if you can see at the back there is genuinely a gap which excites me so so much because as i said i literally never get a gap in my riding boots but these are just really really classic i feel like i can wear these for so many different things you can wear them with the leather leggings styled underneath you can wear them with skirts and dresses i really like them styled up with a trench coat because then it means that it comes up like all the way up your leg the trench coat goes over and it keeps you really nice and snugly warm so i love these boots they are so so cute now the next pair of shoes i picked up i have not worn outside yet so i can put them in my hand underneath i know people always get freaked out if ever i like put my hand underneath the shoes or like in my photos when i put shoes on books people are like oh my god I'm like, don't worry i haven't worn them yet so this is a gorgeous pair of boots that i found on asos and i think we can all agree they are an amazing chloe tube i'm so so obsessed with the chloe boots everyone knows the chloe boots i'm talking about the new ones that have come in they are so so gorgeous but so so i wanted to get a pair that are like a good dupe to see how much i would wear them you know what i'm like guys if i like something designer i'll usually get a high street version see how much i wear it and if i get a lot of use out of it then i'll often go to the more pricey version because then i'll know i'll get my cost per wear down so i picked these up because i wanted to see how well i would use them i've not actually tried these on yet so i don't know how they're going to be around my calves but i'm just praying that they are okay they're a little bit more boxy than the chloe like they've got more of a pointed toe i have also seen mango do a good tube i can leave them in the description box if you'd like um but obviously i haven't bought them so i couldn't vouch for how they are but i really like how these look they're very like rubbery they really do follow the kind of like welly boot trend that is going on at the moment and i just think they're really really cute so i'm really hoping they look nice on guys these chloe dupe boots are absolutely amazing amazing i've deliberately worn them with like a skirt so you can see exactly how they look on my legs but they fit so nicely like they are not tight on my calves i even have a tiny little gap at the back which is amazing and they are just so flattering they're so so cute i don't think they come up as high as the chloe ones do but actually on a shorter girl that's kind of better because it means that you don't have to worry too much about them like taking over your legs so yeah really love these i would 100 percent recommend Picking these up, these are such a good tube. I am just, I'm obsessed. And then the final pair of shoes that I picked up are a really cute little ballet style shoe. Now these scream Chanel to me. I really, really love the Chanel shoes, but again, I'm not gonna invest in something that I don't know I'll get my wear out of. And I've not really been the kind of person that wears ballet shoes all that often, but I do really like the look of them. So I wanted to give these a try see how much I wore them, see how much use I got out of them, and then maybe look to invest into something a little bit more pricey when I know I'll get my cost per wear. But these are really, really cute. They're just a little ballet style shoe with the black toe. I think they're such a classic shoe. These are definitely the kind of thing I could see myself wearing for years on end, granted that they are comfortable and granted that I can find outfits that will go well with them. I think these just with like straight leg jeans would be really, really cute. So I'll show you what they look like on I'm in love with them. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really struggling on how I'm gonna show you these little shoes because you're so far away, but I'm hoping that you can see them. I'm not gonna lie, I got them in a four and they were just a little bit too big for me. I think I should have gone down to a three. I'm about a three and a half, and usually with flats I'm fine with them before, but I think because they are like little ballet style, I don't know if you can see, I have got a little gap at the back, so I'm gonna have to return these and get a three, but I do really, really like them. I think they are very very cute a really nice autumnal shoe you could easily style these up with like jeans i deliberately put them in the skirt just so you could see them better but i think you could easily style them up with like straight leg jeans or even wide leg trousers would look so so cute so i definitely recommend picking them up but if you are between sizes go for the size down okay going back away from accessories again onto some more outfits and uh, this is a pair of leggings that i picked up these are actually from new look but when i wanted to get them they were sold out on new looks website and that's one thing i do love about asos is sometimes if you find something on a retailer that you love and it's sold out you can always check asos to see if they still have it in stock and thank god they did so i was very very happy to have picked up these now these are a pair of faux leather leggings they're coming up but i don't know why this camera doesn't seem to like this brown color because it's pretty much the same kind of brown as the trench coat but again it's coming up very like orangey rusty on camera and it's just not really cute um but they are a pair of like very rusty kind of brownie colored leggings and the best part about them is that they are in petite so if you saw my latest zara haul you would have seen i picked up my first pair of faux leather leggings of the season and i absolutely loved them but they didn't come in petite and even though i will mainly wear them with boots so i don't worry too much about it 
they do look a little bit bunchy at the ankle which a couple of you guys did comment on in the video it was something that i just said look i'm not bothered about it like, most of the time i'll be hidden by boots it's okay but just to have the option of wearing them without boots is a really really nice thing so i will link the petite and the regular size in the description depending on your height i'd say if you're over five three five four then you'll probably want to go for the regular if you're anything under that then i would say go for these these definitely like hit me exactly at my ankle which is just the optimum place for leggings to hit now they do have the really cute little like panel detail going down which i absolutely love and a zip at the side so it makes them a lot easier to get on and off and they also have a zip do they have a zip at the bottom Oh, no, they don't. They don't have a zip at the bottom, but to be honest, they're so stretchy, I don't think you need it at all. Um, they're definitely a lot lighter than the Zara ones. I might do some stories, actually, on my Instagram comparing them, because I think that'll be quite interesting to see how they kind of, like, compare with regards to fit, with regards to quality, with regards to, like, style, everything like that. So um, let me know if you'd like to see that, and I'll show you what these look like on, because I'm so, so obsessed with them. These leggings are such a dream. They're still not coming up quite how the colour actually is on camera, which is so annoying, but hopefully you would have been able to see from the photo how they actually look but i just love these so so much i've deliberately not worn any shoes so you can see what it is like fit wise as i said they literally hit just above my ankles which is so so perfect i wish all leggings hit just above my ankles and that's why i got them in a petite and i went for a 12 in these i think it was a 12 no i think i might have gone for a 14 i'm gonna have to check hold please call her it's okay it was a 12 so i'd say go true to your size because they do stretch um and I think 14 might have been just a little bit loose around the waist because these fit really, really nicely around my waist, actually. But because they are leggings, I would tend to wear jumpers that, like, go over a little bit just because I find that more flattering on me. But I really like these. I think they are so, so cute. And we have another coat. You guys know I absolutely love my coats. I cannot get enough of them in autumn, winter. And I saw this one and I just fell in love. The shacket trend is such a big trend this season. And I know this is a bit of, like, a trend colour, a trend piece but I do really like it. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on whether you think this is worth keeping. I, I will admit, it is a trend piece, but I do really, really like it. And I think it's okay to have a couple of trend pieces in your wardrobe. So it's this really, really stunning green colour. It's definitely not sage. I don't know what colour I would probably call this. Um, but it's just like a really gorgeous earthy tone. And it's got these really cute buttons going down. Most of the time when I see green pieces online, they'll have like brown buttons. So I thought it was really interesting that they had black buttons going down. I think it just really added a bit of interest to this coat now i picked this up in a medium and i would say it's a good size if you want to wear it as a coat if you want to wear it as a dress size up if you're short like me we can often wear these kinds of things as full-on dresses so if you did want to go for a dress i would say size up i think the large would have looked better like as a dress on me but i'm so obsessed with this i think it's just the cutest thing ever and i can't wait to show you what it looks like on and here we have the only green shirt jacket kind of thing it's definitely much thicker than a normal shirt jacket so i don't know if i would exactly call it that but i really really love how it looks it's definitely quite like a casual thing and i think it's quite an easy one just to throw over it especially like an all black outfit like i have on underneath here i think really adds a bit of interest to an outfit so i really really like how it looks and i actually can just about get away with wearing it as a dress if i was to button this up and maybe just wear cycling shorts underneath just to be a bit safer i could definitely get away with wearing this as a dress i think it would look quite cute with a pair of high knee boots but i really like this i think it's such a cute color such a cute fit if you do want it to be oversized then size up but i would say if you wanted it to be just like on me it's just slightly baggy and this is true to size so i really like this i think it's such a must in your autumn wardrobe and we have some more green pieces you guys know i'm having such a moment with green at the moment and i just love how it looks so i picked up this cohort i saw it online and i just thought that was the cutest thing ever but i made a mistake i meant to get the skirt in a 12 and the blazer in a 10 and i accidentally ordered the blazer in a 10 and the skirt in a 12 so annoyingly i'm not going to be able to show you the skirt on because i am just i know this is not going to fit me it is not going to do up in the 10 but i will be able to show you what the blazer looks like and i will be able to judge whether a 12 is a nice oversized or if i would have wanted to go down to a 10 but i love the color of these they are so so gorgeous are really really nice again it's not quite sage i don't know what color i would call this maybe like an it's not an olive green I'm not very good with my colours, but I really do like this. I think it's really, really cute. They're a lot lighter than I was expecting. I expected the blazer to be a little bit thicker, but it's actually quite lightweight, which if you wanted to layer up, is actually really, really perfect. You can add a jumper underneath. And then again, maybe going up for a 12 would have been better because then I can put like really thick jumpers and hoodies underneath there. So I can't wait to show you what it looks like on because I think it is a really, really cute piece. So I've just started up the blazer kind of how I would wear it if I did have the 
sage green skirt obviously it does not fit as i said so i would not be trying it on because i cannot do it up um but this is how i would want to wear it with the actual skirt so i'm going to return that one and get that in a 12 but i think i'm actually going to keep the blazer in a 12 um it's not as oversized as some of the other asos blazers it's quite difficult to tell with sizing with asos sometimes and i have found a lot of the other asos blazers that i've got are huge so i went well i wanted to go for 10 in this because i thought a 12 would be way too big but actually the 12 is perfect like i can easily do it up as well and it still looks really really cute so really like the blazer i'd say definitely size up if you can in this if you want it to be a little bit more oversized and if you want to fit a jumper underneath i've just got the black jumper on and like i'd say anything thicker and you're going to start struggling um but i do really like how it looks i love the color i think it's so so cute now the tennis skirt trend has been a trend that I've been obsessed with for so, so long. And I've been waiting for this Bershka skirt to come back in stock for ages. I think it's already sold out again by the time I'm filming this video. It's literally been like two days since my order arrived, which is ridiculous. But I will link it down below anyway. And if you can bookmark it, then I would definitely recommend like adding yourself to the little notify me thing to see if it comes back in stock. But I'm obsessed. This Bershka tennis skirt is just such a classic tennis skirt. I really, really like it. And they do actually have a lot of other colours in this now, which I think is really really cute but i picked this up i'm obsessed it is the cutest thing ever i was actually borrowing holly's from the kitty lux i was borrowing her skirt because i was like i really want it but it was out of stock for so long so she let me borrow hers for a couple of weeks and when this came back i texted her like yes i finally got my own one and um, so i picked this up in a large and one thing i will say about the skirts is they do stretch so Holly's a little bit smaller than me and she has hers in a medium. So I was really worried hers wouldn't fit, but it did actually fit me because the skirt had stretched. But this one in a large and this does actually fit me fine because it obviously hasn't stretched yet. So I'm going to be a little bit worried to see how the fit is when it starts stretching. Um, but yeah, annoyingly with Bershka, a large is the biggest size they do. So if you're any bigger than me, I don't think the skirt is going to fit you, unfortunately. That's the thing I hate most about these brands is when they have 12 as the largest size they do. It's so archaic. It's so ridiculous. Um, but I love the skirt, so I really wanted to get it. <laughs> And here we have the white tennis skirt. I absolutely love how this looks. It's just so, so flattering and really easy to style up with so many different pieces. I've just chucked on the black jumper with it, but I've been wearing it with like camel jumpers with the knitted vest and like a white shirt underneath. I just absolutely love how the skirt looks. It's so, so cute. It's a really nice length as well. Um, often I find my mini skirts, I do struggle sometimes being such a short girl. They can come down a little bit long on me. So I would say if you're really tall, this is not the kind of skirt for you, but then also if you're really tall, I highly doubt you're watching this video so us short girls we can definitely wear these skirts i really really like them it's such a cute length it's really adorable and we're adding a pop of color into this video so i picked up this really really cute fluffy jumper from bershka i feel like this this kind of like fluffiness in blue is just the cutest thing ever i had a zara cohort like this and a nasty Al cohort and i'm just so, so obsessed with them they are so so soft this is the kind of thing where because you can see all the hairs you do worry about the itchiness but actually guys it is not itchy in the slightest it is the softest thing in the world i am so so obsessed with this now i picked it up in a medium i do kind of wish i'd gone for a large because it is a little bit more cropped than i thought it was going to be um, but i think with a pair of high-waisted jeans i could pull this off quite nicely i think it would still look really really cute but i just love again this like very trendy kind of like poofy really kind of details that we've got going on i just think it's the cutest thing in the world so i absolutely love this i think it's such a gorgeous staple especially if you're someone that likes a bit of color in the winter this is the kind of thing i would definitely recommend picking up and here we have the bershka jumper i actually kind of like how it looks tucked in to the tennis skirt i think it's really really cute but if i untuck it and show you the length it does sit a little bit unflatteringly because it just kind of hits my hips. It doesn't quite sit on the smallest part, but I think that's actually kind of perfect if you want to tuck it in because then you don't get that massive bulge. You know, when you have like a massive jumper, sorry, I'm trying to get this tucked in. You know, when you have a massive jumper and then like you tuck it in and you get this like line here, you wouldn't get that from this, which I really, really like. But I just think the little frills, it looks so, so cute. And you can wear this so many different ways. I really actually like blue styled up with camel. I think that's such a great way to style it for autumn, winter, but it's just so adorable. It's so cozy. Like honestly, when I wear this, I just wanna be like oh, feeling myself all day. I absolutely love it. Now, I think we can all agree. If you were to look at me, you wouldn't think I'm a beanie kind of a gal, but 
I was hanging out with Charlotte Olivia recently and she is like the queen of beanies. I absolutely love beanies on her. They really, really suit her. She's definitely got a more casual style than I have, but she can really, really pull off a beanie. And after I hung out with her, I was like, well, I need a beanie in my life now, don't I? So I ordered this one online and whoops. Oh, this is just ASOS design. Um, so ASOS own beanie and I got this. It's one size. It's looking a little bit small, but I'm going to wait till I filmed all the cutaways to put it on because it's going to absolutely ruin my hair. Um, but I really like the colour of it. It's very, very cute. I feel like this is the kind of colour that goes with absolutely anything in your wardrobe, especially if you're a neutral guy like me and your wardrobe is just completely neutral. <laughs> this will definitely go well in your wardrobe. So I think it's really, really cute. Again, it's really, really soft. Not the kind of thing that will be itchy. I never understand people that get wool beanies because then you just get like a line of itch on your forehead. I actually remember a friend of mine got a wool beanie and when she took it off, she literally had like a red line from where it had been irritating her skull. Um, so that is not my kind of vibe. I like something very soft and very cozy. So I think this is the perfect soft little beanie to have like on a weekend to hide the greasy hair and keep you nice and snugly warm. And here we have the little beanie. I love it. I actually really like it. What I quite like is that it's small enough for my head. Like I, I do find that because I've got such a pea head, often it can be quite difficult to get beanies because they like, you know, when you get a massive bulge here, it's just really not cute. But I really like this. I think it suits my shorter hair as well. Um, I think if you would have really long hair, I don't know if it would come out really like, whoo, sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. Um, but I do really like this. I think it's so, so cute. I definitely recommend. It's not itchy at all. As I said, like it's really, really soft and absolutely adorable. And then lastly, I picked myself up a new beret. Now, if you know me, you know I am a beret girl through and through. It's actually quite funny. Up until, I think it was like this year, I never really wore hats. I just didn't think they suited me. And this year, I've really, really gotten into my hats, my berets, my fedoras, apparently my beanies. I absolutely love them. So this is a new one, and it's from a brand called My Accessories, which I've never heard of. But I was just on ASOS looking through their berets, and I really like the colour of this. I thought it was quite interesting. It's like a creamy, minky kind of colour, and I thought that was really, really cute. I've got a blackberry and I've got a camelberry but I don't have anything in this colour and I think this would just look really really nice and maybe some more like toned down like maybe a lot of like whites and creams I think would look really really cute so I picked this up I'm in love with it I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on because it's just adorable and here we have the little beret I absolutely love how it looks as I said it's very like creamy kind of like mint mint mink that's the one. Very creamy colour, like minky colour. I think it's really, really cute and really nice, really flattering. I love a beret. If you've watched Emily in Paris, you'll probably be as obsessed with berets as I am. Honestly, I watched that show and afterwards I was like, get me all my berries out again. So I really, really like this. I think it's so, so cute. Okay, guys, so that was everything that I have picked up at ASOS for autumn I would say probably autumn winter now. Like we really are going into the winter months. Every time I go out in the morning, I'm like, wow. There is a chill in the air. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you are new, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. If you wanted to come and join us for more videos, I'll add this into a haul playlist so you can check out all my other autumnal hauls that I have been doing recently. But I hope you guys are having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!